depends. Actually, the treatment may be very different depending on which stage you got diagnosed. Uh, usually, nowadays, it is diagnosed on time very early. We just find some little tissue that's actually uh, even smaller than a, than a regular, um, like the size of a, of a fingernail, even smaller, half that size probably. So that tissue needs to be um, removed. So we, we do something that's called a lumpectomy. We take that lump out and usually this uh, works. Of course, it has to have certain conditions for us to know that this worked. Condition number one is that there are no lymph nodes affected because cancer, not only in the breast, but in other places of the body, it uh, travels to the, through the lymphatic um, system. That's how it goes from the breast to the bone or to the, or to the brain or other parts of the body. So if there are no lymph nodes affected, that means the cancer has not um, traveled outside of the breast, so it is safe just to locally remove it. If there is uh, some affection in the lymphatic nodes, then probably what we need to do is the second surgery, which is probably the, the one that you know um, more, which is the mastectomy. Mastectomy is the removal of the whole breast. There are actually several uh, different mastectomies. Um, depending on how aggressive and how advanced is the cancer. Uh, many uh, women or patients do know, don't know that, the, um, that there are several types of mastectomy. They all think that it's the same one, but it's not. Sometimes we just remove the, I mean, the nipple is always removed because nipple has the ducts. And as I was telling you, the ductal uh, carcinoma is the one that's most common. So, of course, the nipple is always um, going to be removed. But then we have to take all the ducts and probably most of the, um, of the lobules. But that's it. In some women, we have to take the muscle away. So the pectoral mus muscle that's under that has to be removed also because the cancer is so aggressive that it has gone there. So that's why uh, certain surgeries are so um, disfiguring for, so, for certain patients. And of course, that makes this condition um, a condition that also affects the self-esteem of the patients. I'm talking about women because, as I was telling you, this is more common in women. And for men, having mastectomy, uh, it wouldn't be such a problem because we're not used to have breasts. So of course, this is something that affects much more than simply just your physical um, appearance. <clears throat> uh, we can also um, help the surgical process with some chemotherapy and with uh, some radiotherapy, which is those two are very commonly used for other types of cancer. What is what's special about the um, the breast cancer? Uh, talking about the treatment with chemotherapy is that um, when we take some tissue of that cancer to be um, studied by the pathologist, after he diagnosed it, I mean, after he said he, those were malignant cells and what type of cancer, he does some special tests to see if that tissue has certain specific conditions. What conditions, for example, um, now they do as a routine something that is, that is called the HER. Um, also, they do uh, estrogen receptor, and which is the ER, and the PR, which is the progestin receptor. Why? Because these types of cancer are very uh, the ones that have those receptors. Um, they they are very, they are controlled by hormonal levels, by estrogens and progestins also. So that helps the doctor choose what kind of treatment they're going to have. Not every cancer is the same. So if you have, if, if that patient, patient's cancer has those receptors, 
well, there, we're going to choose one, um, one drug or chemotherapy that targets those hormones. So the breast tissue is not going to, the malignant tissue is not going to grow as fast as it would normally do. So this is very, very um, helpful now, very special to these types of cancer that uh, respond to hormonal levels. But unfortunately, there are certain cases which are negative. So that means there's this type of, of um, medications won't be useful in those patients. So th those are more aggressive types of cancer, more difficult to actually treat.